Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to use today's functional group update to go over our OKRs. Uh, you can find the OKRs in the link in the calendar invite. And um, we are using a new structure this quarter. The first quarter, we did uh, OKRs via Lattice. Uh, the second quarter, we kind of not did OKRs, which is pretty bad. And now we're doing the OKRs using GitLab. Imagine that. Um, the idea is to use OKRs as a way to coordinate the company. And it's really, we found it was really hard to coordinate the company if it was hard to get an overview of the OKRs. Um, so for this quarter, we're gonna try having OKRs down to the director or team level and not have individual OKRs anymore. Your performance uh, has so performance is broader than just OKRs, but in your performance reviews, there will be a question like, how much did you contribute to your team's OKRs? So we're trying to um, have goals as a team um, instead of for individuals. And that means there's that there are way less OKRs and we can put them on one page or actually one page per objective. So it's about three pages now, um, but that makes it a lot easier to reason about them. And also we can use GitLab merge requests to send them and um, to, to suggest improvements. And this page has gotten about, I don't know, 20, 30 improvements already. Um, it's almost the end of the month. So we're almost uh, kind of slowing down the improvements, uh, but, uh, I've been really excited about how much easy it was to collaborate. I want to go detail the OKRs a bit, and then I hope that most of the time we spent with questions. Um, I've now figured out how to open the chat window, so hopefully I'll be able to pay attention to that in real time. We got three company objectives, and the first one is to grow incremental ACV according to plan. It's the most important thing. Make sure that we're on the revenue trajectory that we need. Uh, the second OKR is to build a popular next generation product. Yeah, And there's, there's two elements in this. It's gotta be popular, like people actually have to use it. And it's gonna be next generation. It's gonna be a lot better than what is out there in the market today. And the third and final company objective is to have a great team. Um, a company is nothing but a bunch of people and processes. Um, so we want to make sure we're, we're doing pretty good on the processes. We want to make sure that we have the, the right people and that, that they're happy. Um, so about growing the ACV, uh, there's three key results for me. And the first one is to build an SQL pipeline that is big enough. And that we define, big enough we define as three times as big as our plan. So we wanna have a three X coverage of SQL value to what we actually wanna uh, sell. And the second one is to understand and improve existing account growth. We used to have that existing customers would uh, double in their spend year over year. Uh, it's now about, instead of 200%, it went kind of down to 160. And I think uh, we should strive to get it back up there. And so far, we've never done any customer success. We never looked into why that was. We never paid any attention. So I think with some attention, uh, we should be able to do a lot better. And the third one is to increase the average sales price by 25%. Um, and that's both a function of selling more seats per deal, but also selling a higher tier per deal. Now, I think I don't want to spend the rest of the meeting going through all the child goals, uh, but I want to detail how it works. So there's my key result. Then for uh, kind of my reports, my key result is their objective and they have their own key results. So these are the ones for the CMO. These are this one for the CFO, etc. And hopefully it makes logical sense that the, the goals that are nested kind of relate to the objective that is above them. What we did before in Lattice is, is repeat, like 
there be an objective key result and then an objective that related to the key result and then again an objective we we kind of dropped that because it was too complex so it's not always a perfect one-to-one -one mapping but hopefully it's good enough any questions or suggestions about the first objective Clement it seems a lot better than how we did it before. Well, thank you very much. I do want to point your attention to the critical acc acclaim that this new process already got. Um, <laughs> and the best one was, I've been working on a satirical blog post called Hot New Management Trend Alert. RG, <laughs> RGGs, really just goals. <laughs> this is basically that. Um, and uh, which it is, it is basically just goals. Uh, I think the advantage of OKRs is that um, you you kind of cascade them. So you make sure that goals throughout the company is aligned, that the goals aren't like, this team goes there and the other team goes there. And that's, as you grow, that becomes more important. I think we're still early, a company of our size can do without OKRs, but I think if we, if we can get good at them now, um, but that will pay its dividends when we need them. If you need them and you still have to train, that's that's worse. Jim Ash, maybe we can follow the lead of Atlassian and raise our prices too. Yeah, there's an interesting uh, thread going on and Atlassian just raised their prices significantly, which is good. And they raised them, I think for Jira mostly. And we heard that they're kind of giving away um, Bitbucket for free if you buy Jira. So it's, uh, it's important for us to become a fully fledged uh, Jira competitor. And we're working on that with uh, related issues, which will ship next month and, uh, and other improvements. Um, raising our prices, we don't wanna raise prices on our existing customers because that's not fair. Uh, but we, we are looking into um, an ultimate edition, uh, which will be $100 per user per year. Um, it's not in the OKRs, uh, but I'm working with Yop, our VP of products, to identify what, what would be the best new feature. And right now, my thinking there is that uh, portfolio management would be a nice one because it's, um, and let me explain what portfolio management is. Portfolio management is um, where you, uh, you, you, you already have issues, you kind of um, group them on their bigger themes and then see how those themes relate to um, what your company is doing. So it kind of managing development processes at scale. And I think it's an existing market where people are shown to pay a lot of money and something we could uh, do without a crazy amount of effort. So. Um, I probably, if people are interested, say so in the chat and then someone should be able to provide a link there. Simon, what's the ongoing review process throughout the quarter? That's a good question and something we um, totally dropped the ball on. Maybe I'll stop sharing my screen for a while because the questions are flowing in and I love it. Um, so the ongoing review process, um, we did a really bad job in Q1. I did a really big, bad job in Q1. Um, so for Q2, Q3, what I'm going to do is every, every one of my reports is about nine key results. I'm going to paste them at the top of our one-on-one -on -one agenda. And my, the idea is to spend, I have a, a weekly meeting with all of my reports, spend every other week to go over the key results, see how we're doing, see what we can do to uh, make it go better. Um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I anticipate that um, some, of the, some of my reports will copy that. Uh, everyone's free to do it as they see fit because I'm, it's not a proven method yet. If it's a proven method, uh, we'll do it. We'll also try to link more of these to metrics. So um, Paul's working on building a, a data platform so that we can just see all the different metrics that we uh, we have in the company and just can link to like, this is how we're doing on this key objective. So we, we have more of a 
this is this is green this is going well this is orange not going well this is red it's 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 going worse but we're very far from that i think the first the first goal is just to make sure that uh, we pay attention to the okrs in in the manage in the eh, in the manager uh, conversations every two weeks Jacob Schatz says, is it similar to Apex? So this is, this is uh, related to the uh, portfolio management. And I do think it's related to Apex. I'll paste the link here in the, in the chat. It's two, three, two, nine. Here you go. I think Apex is in there. I think there's a hierarchy of user Apex initiative goals. That's how I understood it, but we're still very early in understanding this. And I think there's lots of company, uh, lots of people at GitLab that can help us with that. Mike phrased it good. Avoid drowning in an ocean of issues. Yes. Cool. Any other questions or suggestions? Jim says he sold about nine deals of ES so far. Nobody even asked for a discount. Yeah, I think ES is the steel is, is a steel. It's it's great value for money. Um, I think what we should do is we should make sure that there's even more value in EEP so that people see the see the value there. And it, it takes a while. Like every time we make a new version, it takes a while to get the features in there because we, there's only so much we can release every month. But I think we're doing a good job of of adding new features to EEP. Um, I think we can do a better job of communicating the value of EEP. Marcia says, maybe we could create an OKR group label for issues and MerchPress. Um, I'm not sure whether there will be a one-to-one -one mapping of OKRs and an issue. Um, maybe OKRs are more like an Epic and we need that portfolio management feature to, to do this. But Marcia, maybe you can, Maybe you can uh, give a bit more background of, of what your ideas is. Oh, sorry. Um, one second. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, just for us to see, to be able to, anyone to see if that contribution that I'm making is reflecting in one OKR or not, you know what I mean? Uh, if a issue or a merge request is, uh, is, is, is part of one of the OKRs. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. Um, we're doing it now with performance and we saw that only 3% of our issues that were closed every release were related to performance. Actually, it'd been exactly 19 issues for the last three releases which is crazy because I thought that increasing the performance of GitLab was a priority. It is a big priority, but, but apparently we're not putting our effort in it or we're forgetting to label them. Yep. Um, so that might be, that might be interesting to, to keep us uh, honest about how much things are really related to our OKRs. And so great suggestion. Um, we'll consider that. Job is afraid that almost everything should be contributing to the OKRs, and that's that's a bit of the risk. Yeah? Like hopefully everything we're doing is getting more revenue. So it's it's a bit of how, how far do you stretch the stretch the criteria. Um, the you'll never find an OKR like um, support our customers or something like that. Like there's lots of ongoing work we do that is not part of the the OKRs. The OKRs is kind of what's a quantifiable goal and also a bit, what are we going to do different this quarter than last quarter? Larry about portfolio management, I think is how you handle up investment portfolio. Okay. So all the initiatives within the company are kind of rolled up into big bats, small bats. <laughs> Baloo says there's already an OKR label. Wait, Job is getting overloaded with people offering help with designing portfolio management. Thanks everyone for reaching out to Job. Make him crazy.
Cool. Let's, um, I'll go back to screen sharing. And go over the second OKR goal. So the second one is uh, to be a popular next generation product. There's three key results uh, for me. I want GitLab to be ready for mission critical tasks and for sure should make sure that all users are, that, that it feels fast. This is part of it. The second one is increased usage of idea to production. So I want to see 100% growth in all the different components of GitLab except for the version control. Lots of people are using version control right now, but not using the other parts of GitLab. So we wanna make sure that we, we do better in product messaging, make it easier, et cetera, to, uh, to use all those other parts. And the last one here is to ship a next generation product. Hopefully by eight o'clock, a tweet went out with our blog post about our market share oh, and about nice. auto DevOps and uh, it, it includes a video which I encourage you to view about what our vision is for auto DevOps and our first iteration. And we're going to try to ship that this quarter. And last but not least is a great team. And a great team means effective leadership. Um, so we want to make sure that you have a good manager. We want to attract great people. Make sure that the talent coming is great. And we want to Retain great people. We want to make sure you're happy here. Yeah, Mark, thanks for sharing, uh, sharing the what's next for GitLab CI, the, the auto DevOps. I'm super looking forward to making that a reality this quarter. And Emily is proving that the tweet indeed went out. Emily, thanks for all your help and all your flexibility in writing that article. I think it came out really well. And I, uh, I look forward to a Hacker News where on this front page, Atlassian is raising prices and GitLab is shipping awesome stuff. Any questions or suggestions? Well, in that case, thank you very much. Um, looking forward to the new OKR process. Um, let us know how it's, or let me know how it's going, whether I'm open to suggestions. It's the first time we're doing it in this format. And I, uh, I hope it will make it a bit clearer to everyone what we're working on and what the priorities are. Thanks, and if I don't see you anymore, have a good weekend.